Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm in a bit of a different location and that's because I'm upstairs in my bedroom because this is the only place I could find some quiet right now. <laughs> so here we are. So if you've been watching my channel for the past few months, then you probably know that I have shared quite a few summer fragrances with you all. Also, if you've been watching my channel for the last few months, then why are you not subscribed? Please make sure you go ahead and subscribe right now. Thumbs up this video right now. And also make sure you check out my Instagram. It is a newer Instagram account. I had an old one. I still have that one. Um, but I wanted to dedicate an Instagram account to just my blog slash YouTube channel just so I would not feel embarrassed <laughs> about talking about all the little frivolous things I love um, on the page where all my like friends and family were also following me. Does that make sense? Okay. Tangent over. All right, back to the topic at hand. So if you've been watching my videos for the last few months, then you probably know I have picked up quite a few summer fragrances. Um, now, previous to this year, I was never like a spring summer fragrance girl. Like I had a few fragrances, of course, because I've been in love with fragrance, but I really lived for the fall winter fragrances. However, this year I really discovered quite a few hot weather fragrances that I fell in love with. I surprised myself. I stepped outside of my box and yeah, I found a lot that I love. So since I've shared so many with you all this summer, I really felt like now is the time for me to share my five favorites from the summer. These are the ones that I feel like when I look at them, I'm going to think of summer. Uh, I know 2020 is not <laughs> is not really what we're going to want to think about in the future, but these fragrances will remind me of summer and these are the fragrances that I think are my favorite summer fragrances. I do have two honorable mentions that I will talk about at the end um, and I'll kind of tell you why they're honorable mentions, but I really just wanted to narrow it down to my top five um, so that you know out of all the fragrances you've shown, seen me show over the past couple months, these are the top five for this summer. So if you're interested in seeing my five favorite summer perfumes, then just keep watching. So these five fragrances will be in no particular order. I'm just literally going to grab out of my bag here and keep it moving. So first one I'm grabbing is this one from Guerlain and this is the part of the Aqua Allegoria line. It is Coconut Fizz. Now this fragrance to me smells like straight up like coconut water it is so nice it's so refreshing it is a lightweight scent but i think that makes it perfect for summer i actually think depending on where you live maybe you can get away with this year round but when i smell it it just literally smells like summer to me it is like a sweet natural coconut water type scent this is not heavy like sunscreen type coconut i don't even feel like it's blended with a lot of florals it's really like just a coconut water, maybe like coconut cucumber water is really what it reminds me of. I got my fancy dancy strips, y'all. <laughs> so we're going to spray it on here, even though I know what this smells like. And oh my gosh, y'all, this is so refreshing. It's very spa like it's very zen. Mm. If you love the smell of like natural, actual coconuts, then I know you will love this one. Yeah, so. Like I said, it's not the most long lasting. It is lightweight, but I find that it lasts on my clothes a good amount of time. So probably on my clothes, probably lasts about seven or eight hours. On my body, probably only about four, four to six hours, somewhere up in there. But that's perfectly fine with me. This is just a very nice, refreshing scent. And for me to only have had this like a few months i feel like i've used up quite a bit it's already down to like here so that's a lot for me based on the amount of fragrances that i have i've also done a blog post for this so i'll link that down below uh, along with the list of all the fragrances i'm talking about the next fragrance is pretty much the opposite of the one that i just mentioned <laughs> and this one is from mancera it is holidays and this is a heavy coconut sunscreen type scent um so it's coconut and tropical flowers i believe maybe tiare flower or yangi ylang ylang <laughs> uh, but this one is if you are a person who likes sunscreen type scents and you want one that will get you noticed this is it this is the one you want to go for it's long lasting it is powerful it's sweet 
it doesn't smell too synthetic. I know when people talk about sunscreen scents, a lot of people don't like them because they can smell cheap if done incorrectly. And they can also smell just like too synthetic. I don't find that this one smells too synthetic. I think it's really well done. It's something that I just love to sniff even if I'm not wearing it. It's also one that I get compliments on because people can actually smell it. Um, I find that with a lot of these beachy type, coconutty type scents, they fade fast. This one does not live up to that stereotype. <laughs> this one is the complete opposite. It lasts a long time. It projects. People will smell it on you. So if you want like bang for your buck, coconut, sunscreen type scent, this would be it. It's absolutely beautiful. If you like something like um, Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess, then I know you'll like this. The next fragrance I actually featured in my summertime vanillas video and that would be Juliet Has a Gun Vanilla Vibes. Now this fragrance, the bottle is beautiful. Honestly, since I first saw this bottle, I wanted it. <laughs> but I was never really too sure about Juliet Has a Gun to be completely honest. For a long time, I never tried any of their fragrances. But this one, um, I absolutely love. It is a light vanilla, like salty vanilla type scent. Um, this reminds me of like just a very natural vanilla and skin scent, like a salty skin scent. Definitely smells like what you would think of as the beach. <laughs> I also find that this layers very well with so many other fragrances. So I've been loving to layer this. I've used up quite a bit of it. Um, it is very like a lightweight fragrance. So I don't think if you're into like super heavy hitters and that's all you like, you probably will not like this one. I'm just going to be completely honest with you. But I love it. I feel like there is a time and a place for lightweight fragrances. And this one is one that I just absolutely love the smell of. Now it is lightweight. It does not project very far. But I find on me it does last a good while. So even though it's like a, a lightweight scent and it turns into a skin scent, it lasts pretty well. Probably about eight hours on me. So it's very nice. Love to layer this. I just love the way this smells. And it's one that I actually like to top off even if I don't need to. Just because it makes me feel so like refreshed and I don't know. It just makes me happy to smell it. So yeah, that's Juliet Has a Gun Vanilla Vibes. The next fragrance is actually really, really new to my collection, but it is actually just kind of just stepped up in there and claimed its spot. And I'm actually super surprised about it. This fragrance, I heard people talking about it and I honestly didn't believe them. <laughs> and I didn't think I would really like it, but it really surprised me. This one is Dolce Garden by Dolce & Gabbana. And I absolutely love this. this smells like the epitome of a tropical like fruit salad um i know it's called garden but it's like a tropical garden it's not like your average floral garden this is a mm, this smells like a tropical fruit salad y'all like you're eating a tropical fruit salad at a fancy resort and you're sitting in the garden there that's what this smells like to me this smells so good. I cannot wait until next year when we can go on like a tropical vacation. I feel like I'm going to have to take this with me. That's what this, that's what this gives me. And every time I wear it, I just feel like it's such an addictive scent. Um, it is not super projecting, but people near you will smell it on you. On me, the longevity is probably about six hours. Um, now I got this in a gift set, so it came with a travel spray. So on the days that I've worn this to work, I actually just take the travel spray with me if I want to touch up. Um, but I find that it's just very, I don't know, it just smells so good to me, y'all. It just smells so good. It's, I don't know if I would consider it a gourmand. I mean, I guess I would, because to me it does smell like a tropical fruit salad, like I said, so. Yeah, it's very, very nice. Um, I think I think it would appeal to a lot of people, but at the same time, it does not smell like anything I've ever smelled before, if that makes sense. So I think it's mass appealing, but it doesn't smell like every other fruity fragrance out there. Hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, that's Dolce Garden by Dolce & Gabbana. And then lastly of my top five, I know I said I wasn't going in any particular order, but I think this one has to be my favorite because I've mentioned it in so many videos at this point and I've worn it so much that I feel like it has to be my favorite uh, but this one is from Atelier Cologne and it's Pacific Lime and y'all this is just the perfect lime fragrance for me um, in my previous video um, I think it was a haul video yeah it was a haul video 
I showed y'all Creed Virgin Island Water and I kind of said, you know, I wasn't super impressed with it. I liked it, but I had some other ones that I liked better. This would be that. <laughs> of course, it does not smell like exactly like Creed Virgin Island Water. It's not a dupe, but I just feel like for me, the sentiment was the same and I just felt like if I wanted to smell like that, I would definitely reach for this one over that one. So just some info but we're talking about this one today so this is pacific lime it smells like a salty lime fragrance it reminds me of like a mojito it is so good y'all so so good it's sweet but it's also tart and i just love that combination if y'all didn't know not a mojito i said it reminds me of mojito i meant to say it reminds me of like it's more like a margarita like a sweet margarita that it reminds me of that but um yeah, it's just so good, y'all. It's very refreshing while still being somewhat uplifting. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> it It's just so nice, y'all. I love wearing this one, especially like on the weekends. This is not one I typically wear to work because I feel like it's just like a carefree, fun, casual fragrance. Um, but I do like to wear this on the weekend. I wear it to the playgrounds. That's pretty much the only place we go on the weekends these days. <laughs> <laughs> I wear running errands. I wear it to the grocery store. It's absolutely lovely. I'm so happy that I went ahead and decided to get this. So, um, yeah, Atelier Cologne's Pacific Lime is my favorite perfume pickup from this summer. All right, so that's it for my top five. Like I said, I do have two honorable mentions, and the reason that I felt like I needed to include these are two different reasons. Um, first one, I wanted to include because I feel like even though I have not worn it a ton this summer, it is still like my all-time favorite summer perfume and I'm sure some of y'all guessed it, but it is Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. So I've had this for a few years. I absolutely love this fragrance and I felt like I could not do a favorite summer perfume video without mentioning this. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because I know it's kind of, a lot of people like it, a lot of people have heard about it, but it is like a sophisticated coconut smelling scent <laughs> um it is very high class resort type scent oh so good y'all it is so good so like i said i'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it because technically it's not in my top five but this is like an all-time favorite so i felt like i needed to mention it as a favorite summer scent and then the last honorable mention is one that i feel like I couldn't do this video without. It didn't make it into my top five for summer just because I felt like the, my top five was stuff that I'm probably only gonna wear in the summer to be completely honest. Like they remind me of summer. I think they will probably, you know, only be worn in hot weather for me. Um, I'm just that type of person. I know not everybody's like that, but I'm that type of person when it comes to fragrance. But this, this fragrance that I wanna mention to y'all, it does remind me of summer, but I also think it is like year round appropriate and I love it so much that I think I will be wearing it year round. But when I look at it, it does right now remind me of summer. So I felt like, I don't know, I was iffy about putting it in the video. So that's why it's an honorable mention, but this is I'ma Watch Sunshine. <laughs> and if you saw my initial like impressions of this, I'm sure you probably guessed it. This was a love at first sniff for me. It is a different type perfume, so it's not gonna be for everybody, but it is for me. <laughs> it is definitely for me. And the bottle, look at that bottle, y'all. It matches my shirt today. Um, the bottle is really nice. I know on camera sometimes it doesn't look that nice, but in person, it is a really nice bottle. It looks very luxurious sitting in my collection. I didn't even tell y'all what it smelled like, did I? But this is kind of popular these days, but So yes, it has that white tobacco and like honey apricot type smell to it. So that's why I feel like it can go year round. People probably think of it as a spring summer type scent. But for me, I think this will be a year round scent because it's heavy enough that the tobacco balances it out to make it a bit heavy. Um, while the fruit, the fruity floral notes of it. I mean, I really shouldn't call them fruity floral. It's not super fruity floral, but the fruity floral notes balance it out. So that's why I think it can be worn year round. Um, but it's an absolute love for me, y'all. An absolute love. My only gripe is that I wish that it lasted, well, it lasts all day on me, but I wish it projected 
all day on me if that makes sense so it doesn't to me it doesn't project after about like six hours or so it kind of turns into a skin scent but it lasts probably about 10 hours on me so it does last all day it just doesn't project all day so yeah this is Amouage Sunshine an absolute love for me I'm super happy that I picked it up so those were my favorite fragrances for summer 2020 uh, let me know what fragrance you love this summer was it a new one was it one that you go back to every year let us know in the comments below let me know if you have any of the fragrances that I mentioned here and what you think of them and yeah make sure you guys are subscribed make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you follow my new Instagram y'all <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you in my next video Bye.